When the Steeples family came looking for a pooch, a bigger dog and an older dog, they headed to the East Side Animal Shelter. The family says they've had luck finding a four-legged family member here before. Our dog that we have at home, we got here so um, a couple years ago. And like so many of you, they trust the dog they take home will be a safe one. But some employees of animal welfare told city leaders they were worried, claiming a half dozen dogs they believed were unadoptable and dangerous were still up for adoption, including a dog who had attacked a sheep. The city spent four months investigating and found the director maybe overstepped his authority a bit. Michael Reardon is the city's chief operating officer. He said this investigation found the director of animal welfare overstepped because he was concerned the number of dogs being euthanized took a sudden spike. Why are 29 dogs getting euthanized this week when five or six is the normal? And the staff was taking that as well, you're questioning us. Why, why are you questioning why we would euthanize dogs? Reardon says in this case, there was a lot of miscommunication. It's not the first time animal welfare has been under scrutiny. Two years ago, then head of animal welfare, Barbara Bruin, stepped down after the city found she had a record of adopting out dangerous dogs. But Reardon says this investigation with the new director doesn't even come close to that and maintains there are more safety guidelines and a team in place now to make sure the dog you take home is a welcome addition to your family. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News.